Hey guys, what is up? My name is Taekwon and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Now, a few weeks ago, I was talking to my friend, right? And he was like, you know what, Taekwon? There are a lot of girls that I wanted to talk to, but I just don't know how to approach them because I don't know them personally. So I gave him some advice and it actually worked. And I think that you guys might probably benefit from this same advice. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, Taekwon, you don't even know how to talk to girls yourself. Yes, that may be true, but I made a lot of mistakes that you can actually benefit from. And also between me and you, we have like two girl best friends, so every time a guy tells them something stupid, I get screenshots. So without further ado, let's get going. Number one, the greeting. Let me start off by saying this. The younger generation, like the generation like under me, are some damn savages, okay? Not in like a super bad way, but as in like interacting with each other. Let me give you guys an example. So one day, this girl just messaged me out of nowhere. She was like a younger girl, and this is how the conversation went. So she was like, Hey. Hey, what's up? I really like you. What are you doing? You're supposed to start a conversation like, hey, my name is Taekwon, like, how are you? Not what I'm doing. Wait, wait, I don't even know you, like, what you wanna know what I'm doing? For all you know, I could've just killed somebody be digging their grave. And unless you're gonna help me dig this grave or falsely confirm my whereabouts to the police, I don't think you wanna know what I'm doing, okay? Or I could've just been sitting on the toilet. I know you don't wanna know what I be doing in day, okay? Number two, the agenda. This is basically where you let the person know your motive. Whether you wanna be her boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. This is where most of us go wrong, including me, because you can't appear to be a friend at this point. You can't. At this point, you just have to not be too friendly but don't come on too strong you just have to be like directly in the middle and this is the best way that you can put it like good evening now my name is Taekwon Nablet and I just thought that you were really pretty and I wanted to know if I could get to know you better if you would allow me one time uh, my friend showed me this text that she got from this guy in her phone and if I see any of my friends doing this I would probably punch them out like anybody to you guys that are watching this video please do not say anything that this guy said. Hey girl. Hi. Yeah, you're really pretty and I was looking at your pictures for like the whole day. Can I get nudes? Hey, yeah, uh, you, 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 go on. Number three, the conversation. All right, now guys, I'm gonna give you a foolproof plan on how to talk to any girl, on how to get any girl. Any, any, any. Not only to get the one that you want now, but all of them in the future. Oh, 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 oh. Come closer and listen, listen. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You sure, you ready? Go with it, go with it, go with it. You sure? You sure? Basically, what you're gonna do is you're going to be yourself. Basically, as simple as it is. Like, it doesn't make sense to get in a relationship with someone who doesn't know actually who you are. You're just gonna be faking it and ultimately they're gonna find out. Now with that being said, let's just highlight some stuff that you shouldn't do because I think personally these things are actually common sense, but some people don't have common sense. So, let's go. Do not be sexually inappropriate. Control yourself. You just met this person. Don't scare them, okay? Okay. Do not brag about any girls that want you, how much money you have or where you live. This is a really douchebag move and it comes off like if you're showing off and it can make you seem as like really prideful. As far as this person know, you're waiting on your welfare check, nobody wants you, and you live in a cardboard box next to KFC. If you brag about the stuff you have, this might happen. And most of the girls that I hang out with like me. Oh, then why are you texting me then? Um, because, like, Pikachu, I choose you? Bye-bye. I'm not pursuing she has a boyfriend. Like, I just hate, hate when guys do this. So you got a boyfriend? Yes, we've been together for six months now. Oh, that doesn't matter. We could still... Hold up! Boy, we could still... We could still... We could still... What you still gonna do is to accept that friend zone she's about to put you in and stay there. Boy, don't be out here ruining people's relationships for your personal gain because number one is wrong and number two you wouldn't let it happen to you, now would you? I know some of you guys are probably like, take one, nah, I like this girl so much, man. I don't, I don't care. I, I don't care. I really, I really don't care. Like, leave her alone. You guys can still be friends. And probably after she gets out of that relationship, you might get a chance. You never know. It doesn't make sense ruining someone's happiness just because 
you aren't happy yourself. And besides, if a girl or a guy, depending on whatever you like, is gonna cheat with you on their girlfriend or boyfriend, what guarantees the fact that they're not gonna cheat on you also when you're in a relationship with them? Number four, error four or four. Four, error, error, error. And the last one, error four or four. This is basically when she ignores you and doesn't reply to your messages. That's why I call it error four or four, because her message is not found. Ah, ah, no? Okay, sorry. This is how I end every video from now on. I just make terrible fun and you unsubscribe. Don't judge me. There is one rule for this that just don't be this guy. Hello, good evening, how are you doing? Hello, why aren't you answering me? What's the matter with you? Hello, alright, that's your problem then. I didn't even want you. All you feet ashing all you pics and you know it's big. I just throw my phone across the room, did I? Idiot. Boy. I just hate to see when guys do this because it just shows people that you're just being spiteful and stupid. Like you weren't just saying all these good things about this girl and now as soon as she ignores you're gonna say all these bad things about her. Like come on guy, like, you now realize that her feet little issues when I chew the savannah barefoot. Just don't be salty. Just go ahead about your way, accept the L and just leave. I look on your bright side, come on now. If you know you're a nice guy and you know you're the treater right, it's her loss. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Saquon Nublet, and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I just thank you all for watching my videos today. And I'm also thinking of doing another video where I just teach you guys how to talk to your crush in person. Because in person versus texting is like two different things. So some of you guys are just like, Taekwon, where's the Disney vlog? Basically what happened was that I came back from Disney. I had all the footage on my iPad and basically what happened was that I put all of it on my computer. And after that, my computer crashed and I lost all the footage. But if there's any way that I can access that footage again, I'm gonna just post it. Enjoy this video. I want to support me as I make more videos. I advise you to like, subscribe, and share, and tell your friends because they're all free. And as always, my name is Typhoon Ablet. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I advise you to stay awesome and stay weird. See ya. Not drunk. I'm not drunk. No. I'm, 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 I'm not drunk. No. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm, 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 I'm,